Flight Options has been able to prosper during the economic downturn because from day one, Flight Options' focus was always on was always a cost control. Many of the fractional operators, uh, particularly the ones that were attached to a manufacturer, had a business model that was built upon selling aircraft. Early on, that was never a model that Flight Options engaged. We always engaged in a model of operational profitability, and whatever you sold was actually above and beyond. Focusing on operational profitability has allowed Flight Options to have three strong years of financial returns. And it's given us a great base, I think, to, to get us to the, to the next step in, in, in this market, which I think is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun to be there. We've been able to gain market share from our competition for a couple of reasons. Number one is not being tied to any manufacturer. We're able to go out, and I think early on, we had the benefit of looking ahead as to what the new products were coming out. And we're still today always looking at what the most innovative, low cost and versatile products we can have. We were the early adapter of the Phenom 300, which has been one of the reasons we're gaining market share. Flight Options was an early committed to the 400 XT, which low cost, long range of the, of the, uh, of the beach jet aircraft. Uh, and so that's one of Flight Options' special niches, that they've been able to get ahead of the competition and thinking about where, where we need to be long term. We have to be able to be the low cost provider. And we have to do, and we're able to do that in several ways. One, we have a phenomenal optimization system. We tend to have the right maintenance programs that go with the aircraft that allow us to have a much higher dispatch reliability than our peer group. And we control all of our own maintenance. And I think those have led us to become a low-cost provider.